Earlier this year, Parliament was presented with the option of making the Ghana card the sole document for voters' registration. That proposal still remains on the drawing board. Here is Professor Tefwa with his views on that proposal. 2.6 million people, we can register them within a maximum of six months. We have offices all over the country. We have, as I said earlier, we have equipment and we have personnel. What is required is the availability of funds. And then availability of funds and the willingness of Ghanaians to present themselves for registration. I've indicated that the, within the space, there are people who have not gone to register, possibly because they find no real need for a Ghana card. It is possible that some people are not presenting themselves because they don't think that it is necessary. It is also possible that those who were told some time ago not to register, to boycott the Ghana card, that they have not been told by their political masters to go back and get the Ghana card, even though those political masters might have gone to get them. I know some politicians who were part of a so-called stubborn academy who have gone to NIA to register and have taken the Ghana cards, but have not made public statements to the effect that they have done so, not encouraging their constituents to go and get the Ghana card. Professor Tefa maintains that the voters' registration process will be less cumbersome if the EC decides to plug into its database. The Electoral Commission, as soon as it is satisfied with what we have done, and a request that we should transmit data to them who enter into the appropriate protocols, the contractual agreements. The technology exists, it is working, that's what we have worked, we've used with the other cognate institutions that I have mentioned. We can, with a click of a button, give the data to the Electoral Commission. There is no controversy about NIA's readiness.